Have you ever thought to yourself, I think I've tried my best, but why can't I lose weight? I've done fasting and intense workouts, but my weight still won't come off. Is there something wrong with my body? To answer that question, you must first assess your living environment, starting with eating habits. We live in a time where meal serving sizes have quadrupled over the past few decades. It's easier to encounter processed food than real food, and more convenient to get your meals delivered than cooking them yourself. Moreover, the food industry is cleverly including various additives instead of nutritional ingredients to make their products more appetizing and addicting. These products are often sweet and savory foods made of flour, fried foods, and fast foods. They make it so easy for you to overeat and binge eat, and indulging them for late night snacks have become a daily routine for many of you. Beyond your eating habits, you're probably busy during the week due to work. You take the car to work instead of walking, you take the elevator to get to your office instead of stairs, and you're already used to the sedentary lifestyle and share addiction. At night, you often cut back on sleep due to unfinished work or entertainment at your fingertips. No wonder you're chronically sleep deprived. So through the day and night, you're burdened by work, stressed to the max, and you can't remember the last time you've had a full, complete rest. As a result, your living environment is creating abnormal metabolic conditions such as chronic inflammation, insulin resistance, and accumulation of oxidative stress. And these are leading you to even worse lifestyle habits because metabolic syndrome makes you hungrier, more tired, creates a higher stress state, and lowers your metabolic rate even further. So in this vicious cycle, when you try to lose weight with fasting, extreme diets, excessive exercise, and diet pills, your body stubbornly rejects weight loss. This is because your body has already set the default weight. Just as an air conditioner meets the dead temperature, our bodies mobilize the nervous system, endocrine system, and digestive system to keep up with the default metabolism. The more impaired the metabolic function, the lower the metabolic flexibility, so the more stubborn your body is at changing the default weight. So how do you succeed in losing weight? The two key words to remember are tailored and persistence. First, explain to yourself the need for weight loss and realize that only when your mind and body are fully resonating with your need will all of your cells move towards your health goal. But this is not an easy task because your physical and mental bodies will give you a backlash due to the fact that weight loss is a process of self-transformation and changing what you are used to. So start by following a healthy lifestyle that everyone knows, eating a variety of real food in moderation, sufficiently moving your body, and getting quality sleep and rest. Once you're consistent with this routine, you will realize that you have a different diet, exercise, and sleep regimen that works best for you. From then on, develop your own personalized daily routine. Because a celebrity's diet plan or a popular weight loss program may not apply to you. Of course, you could return to your old ways and experience greater weight gain than ever before, but if you continue to practice healthy lifestyle while tailoring it to your mind and body for three months, six months, a full year, changes will gradually occur inside your body, such as balancing of hormones and neurotransmitters, energy generation and distribution, detoxification, reduced chronic inflammation, insulin resistance, and oxidative stress. And at the same time, your metabolism will normalize and you will notice weight loss. Even more importantly, you will reach your goal weight and maintain it for life. Successful weight loss is the work of creating a new version of yourself with a healthy lifestyle, with the process of restoring metabolic health. So ask yourself now, why do you want to lose weight? This is Dr. June. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next one.